Hi guys, how you doing? My name is Tom Antos and in this video I'm going to test out three different microphones. Uh, these are shotgun microphones that are good for, for video or film production. Uh, if you don't know what a shotgun microphone is, it's, it's basically a microphone that's very directional, which is why it's good to when it's used on a film or video shoot. Uh, because you can just point it at your talent and get the sound just, you know, uh, where, where your talent is instead of on the sides or behind the microphone where maybe uh, the crew is moving and stuff like that, you know, causing some noise. Uh, the three different microphones that I chose for today's video uh, are from three completely different price categories. So first one and the most expensive one is the Sennheiser MKH416. Uh, and this is sort of what I would call almost like an industry standard right now when it comes to film and in like higher end video production. The second microphone is from Rode. This is the Rode NTG Plus and this is sort of a mid-range kind of uh, when it comes to price uh, category. And then the, the cheapest the more most affordable one is from VidPro XM55. Uh, so I, I don't know much about this microphone, never actually used it. I have used the other two. But I just thought I would pick sort of like the most affordable option that's out there and just sort of could test it along the, the other microphones uh, and see if there's really a big uh, difference in, in quality. Uh, for this test, I'm gonna use my trusty old uh, Zoom H5 uh, portable audio recorder. Uh, and I'm just gonna plug in each microphone one by one. I'll say a few lines recorded and then, uh, you know, I'll be able to this way hear on the headphones and then let you guys also hear and we can kind of both, uh, you know, judge judge the audio quality and also see the difference between the different microphones. So let's grab the audio cable here. And my headphones. Test one, two, three, test one, two, three. Okay, so the first microphone is the, the Sennheiser, the, the, the most expensive one. And this is how it sounds, and you know, fairly close as you can see to my face. Um, and yeah, let's just, you know, like I said, you, you can, it, I can definitely pick up, uh, you know, all the little sounds, you know, uh, in my mouth and, and everything. Now I don't really hear too much behind the microphone. There is some noise outside, some dogs barking and things like that. So uh, it's, it's pretty good in that sense. Now, if you guys really listen in, you might be able to hear some of the sounds outside. Uh, but uh, otherwise, I think, you know, I mean, this microphone definitely sounds sounds great. Uh, anyways, this is how it sounds up close like this. And let's say maybe I'll move it further away. Now, I don't have a shock mount. You know, normally when using the shotgun mics, and I did another video about that, uh, so you want to have a shock mount. So as you're shaking or moving the mic, you know, it doesn't create any, any uh, it, the audio basically doesn't pick it up. Uh, and also, you know, if you have it really that close to your mouth, sometimes you might want to have like a windscreen or something blimp because you see if I blow a little bit of air or if I tuck like directly into the mic, then uh, it, it might not sound the greatest. Uh, anyway, so this is the Sennheiser. I'm going to move it further away. Uh, if you're doing like a close up for a movie or something, you might be using it at this distance. So uh, I'm going to increase the volume here in the recorder. So this is how it sounds with the volume increased. So with the volume up, uh, you should be able to hear a bit more of the noise and so basically each microphone generates a little bit of noise and that's that's the big difference between uh, a lower end microphone and higher end microphones usually the the lower end microphones you know they generate a little bit too much noise when it comes to uh, the, the audio quality so uh, anyway so uh, even at this distance it sounds very nice very clear it sounds like the microphone is like really right up against my face so Okay, so now uh, I have the next microphone, which is the Rode NTG4 Plus, and this is how it sounds when it's a close-up. Uh, it's uh, it sounds. If I, I don't think the microphone picks up the the hand movements or me kind of handling the mic as much as the, uh, the the Sennheiser. Now, also, I noticed it's. I think it's a little bit less sensitive, or may, maybe that's why it, I don't hear my hands, you know, or the other noises as much as. Uh, I had to right away kind of put up not much, but maybe by five five percent more uh, increase the volume, uh, the, the input volume of the microphone. Uh, but otherwise, yeah, it sounds really nice, really clear. So this is how the the Rode NTG4 Plus sounds. Now both of the microphones, or all of them, I'm going to test out with the phantom power coming out of the, the uh, Zoom H5 recorder. And this is how the microphone sounds a little bit further away from me. I'm going to increase the the volume here, so I can hear myself better. And okay, so this is how it sounds. Now, um, uh, like I was saying about the phantom power, I'm testing all the microphones with the phantom power on. 
even though this microphone actually doesn't need phantom power. It, it has a built-in lithium battery that lasts around 150 hours. And that's one of the cool things and sort of these new features that I've only really seen, I think, in this microphone. And, and thanks to this built-in battery, the microphone can be used with, uh, with basically with recorders that, for example, don't provide a phantom power, but also can be used directly with any camera. I can just plug it into a camera uh, and, and, you know, even if you use like a standard, you know, three and a half uh, millimeter uh, headphone jack. And uh, because the microphone pr provides its own power, like I said, you don't need phantom power. So that, that's a great thing. Now, the Sennheiser doesn't have that option. Sennheiser has to be connected to uh, any device that basically will, will provide phantom power. So anyways, this is how the microphone sounds at this distance. And uh, to be honest, just like right now, listening to it live, uh, there's not much of a difference between the, the Rode and the Sennheiser. Okay, and now this is the VidPro uh, XM55 microphone. This is again up close uh, and one thing I noticed with this one is that, you know the volume I guess kick you know the, the 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 signal from the microphone comes in really hot so I had to really sort of turn down the the input here on the, the volume input so it's almost at 50% compared to the other two microphones so and now definitely though one thing I can I can hear right now is that I mean it picks up the audio uh, especially up here really close except I don't think it picks up all those little details like you know the little sounds like like me moving for example my my lips here and everything like I was able to pick up with the other two microphones so that's one thing anyways now I'm going to move the microphone a bit further away and this is how it sounds further away so now I'm going to increase the volume here and okay this is yeah this is increased now and definitely I can hear a bit more noise now whether it's usable I mean I think you can use it in a video production although I can hear also more of the sounds outside I don't think it's as directional as, as the other two microphones I, I hear a bit more I think of the noise outside but also the big difference I can hear right off the bat is that it um, it's it the noise is, is a little bit higher and also another thing is that it's a uh, it doesn't pick up those really kind of high high frequency sounds, you know, those really really kind of like I say high pitch sounds. It doesn't pick it up as well. Uh, anyways, this is how this microphone sounds, and this one actually just sort of like the the Rode NTG4. This mic um, doesn't require phantom power. If, if you if you want to again hook it up, let's say to your camera directly or any device that uh, doesn't provide phantom power, then this mic uh, allows you to put in a, a AA battery. Now, how long that battery lasts, I don't know, because this is the first time I'm using this microphone. And now I'm gonna stop recording here. Uh, so anyways, this is how this, how those microphones sound, and I'm gonna let you guys download sample audio files from this test. So the links for, the, for where you can download those files are gonna be in the description of this video, or as always, you can go to my website, which is tomantosfilms.com. Um, so, you know, my sort of impressions listening to it, Definitely, there is a difference in the, with this microphone. I mean, it's I think it's usable, uh, but you know, if you're using it for like serious film work, you might have some problems. You'll really might you know would have to apply some kind of filters to clean out the noise with it. So that's the the sort of the difference with this microphone. Um, the cool thing about this mic, though, is for the price that you're, you're paying, it's only ninety dollars compared to, for example, the Sennheiser, which is a thousand dollars. Big price difference. Um, is the fact that it has, for example, the high cutoff uh, the, or high pass filter. So it has, you know, things like that. Uh, like I said, you can put in a AA battery so you can use it with devices that don't provide phantom power. And also, you know, for the $90, it actually comes with, so it comes with this kind of mount and it has an adapter that you can put it on a, on a hatch mount of your camera. So like I said, it's, they already are thinking that, you know, you might want to use it directly with the camera. It has a shock mount, mount here. It's not maybe the best shock mount, but you know, again, for $90, you're getting the mic and all those things. It comes with this handle, as you can see that I was using up here. It even comes with this whole case here. So a kind of case that will protect your, your mic, microphone. And, uh, and then in here, you also get other things. You get the three and a half, you know, uh, millimeter phone jack to like the full size adapter. You get other cables that are basically XLR to a three and a half uh, millimeter uh, phone jack. And then you get an, it's like a short, you know, XLR cable. Let's say, like I said, if you want to mount this on your camera and, and plug it in directly to the camera, you also get another mount here, which is like this one. 
uh, which I, I think this one just fits on the, on the microphone stands. And you also get this sort of a miniature dead cat, which if you put, the, put it on the mic, it will just uh, minimize the wind noise. Uh, and then here's that adapter I was saying that you can put it here on the bottom of this, uh, this stand here, and then you can mount it, it's a hot shoe mount adapter. So it's kind of cool that, like I said, for the money, you're getting, you know, you're getting this whole package and not getting just a microphone. Uh, but, you know, at the end of the day, if you want, uh, if you want really good quality, I guess it's, it's, you know, you, you guys can hear. I mean, I could definitely hear on the headphones, so uh, hopefully you guys can could hear, hear well in the, in the final video the difference in the, in the audio quality between this, this microphone and, and those two. Now, when it comes to these two microphones, which is the Rode uh, NTG4 Plus, and the Sennheiser MKH416. Uh, they're, you know, when it comes to just build quality, I mean, they're very similar in length. Uh, they kind of come with the same things. They come with this little uh, microphone stand, you know, uh, adapter, which is not a shock mount. So definitely you don't want to use that for professional, you know, uh, film or video production. Uh, but if you just take off this kind of foam windscreen that they both come with, as you can see both microphones are almost identical. They're the same kind of thickness. Now the Rode NTG4 Plus is a tiny bit, maybe like half an inch longer. And I'm guessing that's because it has that built-in uh, lithium battery. So, you know, uh, the fact that you're getting that option and it doesn't really add to the size really or, or, or weight of the microphone that much is I think a really cool thing. And also when it comes to the price, it's a huge price, you know, the difference. The, this one uh, retails for uh, $400, uh, this one around $1,000. So big big definitely price difference but when it comes to the sound quality i really don't think that this one is twice as good as the the road maybe you might even say that this one is better i think it really just comes down to your preference because i think both of those microphones perform very well i had a chance to use this one on, uh, on my last sort of short film that i shot in, in ecuador and the microphone worked great um, and i also used this one on the last documentary film that i was working on again it performed very well so I think both microphones deliver professional sound quality. Uh, they might have, you know, they're all tuned slightly differently and pick up slightly different frequencies, but uh, so there's definitely a difference between the two microphones, but it's not a big difference. At least I don't think it's a big difference really. Uh, so if you guys were to ask my opinion, you know, which one I would recommend buying, I think I would go with the Rode. The reason is because if both of the microphones were priced the same, it would be a, a really hard, tough decision for me because they both sound just as good. But when you consider the big price difference, uh, like I said, Rode, you know, even though it's so much cheaper, it still offers extra options like, like the main ones, the, the built-in battery. So, uh, you know, great microphone for a lot less than the Sennheiser. Uh, so if you guys are looking to, to get, a, you know, get some good audio quality in your video or film production, uh, make sure you guys check this out, which this is the Rode NTG4 Plus microphone. And again, if you guys want all the information on where you can find the best deals for, for these microphones, uh, you know, or, or for just all the specifications and things like that, uh, make sure you guys go and check out my website. Also over there, I'm gonna provide the links for where you can download the test audio files from today's video. And also on my website, I have other filmmaking tutorials, uh, other film gear reviews, and, uh, and some exclusive tutorials. So make sure you guys check that out. Again, my website is tomantosfilms.com. Thank you and I'll see you next time.